Alright, Heavy Gear fans, it's time for a figure forge. This figure forge is on the ferret. And, uh, well, I'm probably not going to do any weapons, but uh, you have your weapons over here. I'm just going to slide them off to the side. I'm probably going to, I don't know, might magnetize them. I'm toying around with that idea. Uh, but basically, <clears throat> this is going to be assembling the ferret minus the head. Because I cannot seem to find my head. A lot of people say I run around like a chicken. Anyway. Ferret. You have your different options of uh, walker or I like to call it racer mode. Uh, it's gear mode, but um, so don't don't make the mistake of throwing this piece out. It, it looks like a corner piece of sprue almost, uh, but it actually goes like that. Black is so hard to see. Um, I'll grab this real quick. This piece here is longer than the back piece. It seems to fit better with this to the front. I don't know if it actually matters. Uh, it works either way from what I have seen. Uh, and then this piece gets glued in here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make it in this mode. Uh, I have made the move to Loctite Gel Glue. It is my favorite now. So that's what we're going to go ahead and use. And as I said before, that goes to the center, at least in my opinion. Now, the reason why I made the move to Loctite Gel Glue is actually better on the black. I'll be dang. Black on black is better. So we're going to go back to this. It's so much better. It, it takes away some of the shadow. Um, it's pretty much set. So now I can go ahead and take this piece here, put a little bit of glue, And the other reason why I like the gel control bottles from Loctite is you have, well, just as it says, a lot of control. And that's it. That's pretty much the base of the model. Now, this piece here, this is your wheel. Uh-oh, where'd my wheel go? I'm losing pieces left and right today. Oh, there it is. This piece here goes in there like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide a little bit of glue in there. Tons of control. I think it's a little bit more expensive, but well worth the investment. And it sets a lot faster. I started using it for my figure forges um, because, well, you see why. I can keep going. I'm going to go ahead and do the arms. Now you'll have, with the, this build, you'll have your two legs extra. Um, like I said, my weapons will be here. Uh, I am going to put the missile pack on. I'm not a fan of the satellite dish ever. I just don't like the way they look. So if I uh, ever decide to play with a satellite dish, I sticky tack it on top of the missile. <laughs> I know, that might be silly, and some people might not like that. But I like, you know, they're my models. Um... And if there's ever really a problem and you'd rather have me have the firepower, that's fine. You can let me have the firepower. I'll take the firepower and I'll play it once you would. So now we're going to go ahead. What arm do I want? You've got your arm options here. you got two arms for one side and one arm for the other. And I'm going to go with the extended arm on this side and the shorter arm on the other side. Well, there's only one arm for the other side. Uh, as you can see, these models go together fairly quickly. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it there, like so, yonder. The uh, 
The uh, plastic goes together so much nicer than the pewter ever did. It's easier to hold. You get a better bond faster. Oops. You can still break things like I just did. But they're an easy fix. And like I said, I don't know what I did with the head to this model, but the head is missing. Um, and I said that I was going to put the missile, missile pod on, or rocket pod I should say. What the heck? I'm gonna take a page out of my. Oh, I put this on. I should have done that before the rocket pod. If you're doing this at home, following me along, that's what you do because it's a lot easier to hold. The other thing I'll do, um, like with a squad like this, if I'm gonna play. Uh, a model with a satellite dish or whatever I'm gonna sometimes I'll just make all the other models the same way and say well I mean, I'll use the same loadouts and I'll just say the guy who's different is the guy that's the command model most people accept that and that's pretty much it he's about done I am gonna go ahead and do something my son likes to do and I, I kinda like the way it looks so I'm gonna go ahead there's the uh, extra satellite dish, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this modification real quick that my son loves to do. So if you ever see me playing at a, a shop or something, and you're like, wow, what happened to your model? Uh, well, more than likely, my son was messing around, and he assembled them. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm going to put the weapon in that hand. Uh, sorry about being off camera. It almost fits perfectly into the arm. Oops. Do it like that. That looks resting a little bit. And then, the last little thing I'm going to do is what's out of my son's playbook, and that's the combat knife. My son apparently likes. Bayonets. He apparently has more patience than I do. Far more patience than I do. And he has a bayonet. Oops, he has a sideways bayonet. Gravity, that blasted gravity thing. Uh, 
Ah, dropped him. Guess I might have to let it dry first. on the underside here. Let that dry. Now real quick, um, the only real difference is that you have to put these legs on uh, at separate times on the bottom. I would glue the bottom on first when you're going to do the standing version, the walking, you know, the, the uh, gear mode rather than, than the speedy mode, like I like to call it. Um, and there you go. That's pretty much the ferret. Now, if you really wanted, it would take nothing. And actually, that's something I'm going to try on a, a later video. I have magnetized paint. I think with the uh, plastic pieces, that might work. Uh, it, it wouldn't take anything to put a little magnet on the satellite dish or the rocket and make it interchangeable. So, thanks for watching. This has been a Figure Forge with Matt Lemke from Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com, on the Heavy Gear Ferret. Uh, and, of course, you can do the same thing with all of the... Uh, weapons as well. You can even even the extra arm if you really wanted. You can magnetize it and just glue a weapon to it. You can make all your weapons uh, magnetized as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Uh, check back soon. Uh, listen to us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to me, please. Uh, if you're a role player, please check back very soon for Roleplay Ramblings uh, one of season two. Thank you. Have a good day.